Hello, hello. I am here today to read you a story called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. This story was written by Don and Audrey Wood. They're called the authors, and the authors write the words. And it was illustrated by Don Wood, and the illustrator draws the picture. Remember, whenever you look at a book, you want to look at the picture and think about the title. What do you think is going to happen in this story? Oh, you're right. Something might be a little scary. This mouse is telling you, shh, and it's on a ladder for that strawberry. So let's read and find out what happens. This is called the title page. The Little Mouse, the Big the red ripe strawberry and the, there's the word, the big hungry bear. And here's the author and the illustrator again. And they gave you another picture and notice, it looks like a ladder is coming out of this door. So I think that that might be the mouse bringing the ladder from the cover. So let's read and find out and see if that's right. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? So when I read that, I'm thinking, I wonder if he's talking to the mouse. And the mouse is looking. Look at his ears perked up. And he's carrying that ladder. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red, ripe strawberry? And I think he is. Look, he looks like he's going to shake his head yes to me. So I think the mouse is doing that. But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? How do you think he's feeling? You're right, I think he is scared. Look at his tail going up and look at his face. His face is telling me he might be scared. Especially if you hear big hungry bear too. Those words tell you that and that picture tells you that. Oh, how that bear loves red, ripe strawberries. Oh, I think that this mouse is way more scared now. I might say he's petrified. The big hungry bear can smell a red, ripe strawberry a mile away. And now he's shaking so much, he has the ladder shaking. He is really petrified, especially one that has just been picked. And he was shaking so much, he picked it and look at him. <gasps> he's going, oh no, I think he's thinking in his head, what did I do? Let's see what he does, maybe he'll solve that problem. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff. Sniff, sniff, find the strawberry. I think he has a plan. He's taking that strawberry and he's running. What do you think he's going to do with that strawberry? Do you think he's going to hide it? Maybe somebody said eat it? I don't know. Let's read and find out. There's no wrong answer. It's what you think. No matter where it is hidden. Oh, if he said hide it, you were right. But look at him, he's going like this, like, oh no, that's not gonna work. You think he's come up with another plan? You think that might be? Or who is guarding it? Oh, look, that's a lock and he put a chain on it and he's carrying the key and look at look what he did to the door here. Yeah, he had a hammer nails in there. So he's really guarding it. It looks kind of like a soldier in that picture, doesn't he? Or how it is disguised. Oh, I didn't think about that. He's disguising it. Look at what they're, what, look what he's wearing. So he's trying to say, this isn't really a strawberry. This is someone having tea with me. Do you think that would make the bear think that? Quick. There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red, red strawberry from the big, hungry bear. 
he's hiding. See the strawberry back in here? Strawberry's in there. So I don't think it's hiding it. What do you think the one, there's only one way to try to hide it. That didn't work. He buried it in the yard. He um, disguised it. He guarded it. None of those things are going to work. Oh, that was a good idea. Let's see if it's right. Cut it in two. Uh-oh, he's cutting it in half. What do you think he's going to do when he cuts it in half? Share half with me. Look, he's giving it to somebody. Who is he giving it to? The person talking. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Oh, in the beginning, if you said if he eats it, you were right. That's what happened. Let's see. The end. Oh, look, he's not scared anymore. He's sitting on a hammock and relaxing. Who do you think he shared that with? That might be a clue. You're right. That was the big hungry bear scaring him. If you didn't look at this last page, you would have forgot that. So whenever you're reading a book, you always want to think about what the pictures are telling you. Now I want you to go find a book that you want to read and tell yourself a story with the pictures. I hope you loved The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear.